Welcome to BL 101 New Testament Greek for Beginners, Lesson 4. In our last video, we introduced you to the second declension noun. We shared the basic elements of the Greek noun, which includes gender, number, and case. We also focused our attention on the five basic cases of the Greek noun and key words that are related to some of these cases. Finally, Machen spoke to us about order of words in the Greek as well as introducing us to the movable new. At the end of our lecture, the student was asked to complete the exercises in paragraph 45, Roman numeral 1, Greek to English translations. In this lab, we'll now go over this exercise together. If you have not done paragraph 45 exercises, stop now and go through them on your own. As I've said before, it is in your best interest to complete these exercises on your own before the lab in order to see if you're grasping the material. Now, the lab. Okay, well, as you can see, I've transferred Machen's exercises over to keymanweb.com just so that's a little bit easier for you to see uh, as we go over them together. Uh, hopefully as I transferred them I didn't have any typos, but we'll see. We'll take a look and see what we can find in our exercises. Now Roman numeral one was all Greek to English. Number one was Adolphos Blepe Anthropon. Well, right off the beginning we see Adolphos, which is a brother Blepe, it's blep o, which is I see, but o ace a, so it says a brother, he sees anthropon, a man. Now, a man normally is anthropos in the nominative, but you'll notice the ending here is an on ending, and this is a masculine word, so that right there is the accusative. So, how we transfer, translate that is a brother sees a man and we can see that clearly with regards to the case structure uh, anthropos being a nominative singular anthropon being an accusative singular okay blepe third person singular which is referring to Adolphos, a brother. Number two. Doulos grafe lagus. Doulos would be a servant. Grafe, he writes. O ace a, so it's a third person singular. So, but he writes. La goose. Well, la goose, if you remember in your exercises, uh, that is the accusative plural. So it comes from logos, meaning a word, but it's accusative plural. So that would be translated as words. So we take a look at our, there we go. We take a look at our translation. A servant, he writes words. Or we could also say, a servant writes words. Next exercise. Number three. Apostoloi didaskusin anthropon. Well, apostoloi comes from apostolos, which means an apostle. But notice the oi ending of apostolos. There's apostoloi, but notice here. The, o, the Omicron Yoda ending, that tells me that's a nominative plural. So it's not talking about an apostle, it's talking about multiple apostles. Okay, that's confirmed by the didaskusin, that is a third person plural of didasko, so it says they are teaching or apostles 
they are teaching anthropon. Well, that is a man, but it's an accusative singular ending. Do you see that right there? So, anthropon. We would translate that as a man. Apostles, they are teaching a man. Number four. Apostoloi luusi dulus. Oh, just as in number three, we have apostoloi, so it would be apostles, because remember, this is a nominative plural. Apostles, luusing, um, that is a third person plural, but it's from luo, I loose, so this would be they loose, or they are loosing. And then the final word is dulus, coming from dulos. Uh, dulus, um, that is a slave, but the omicron upsilon sigma at the end here tells me that's an accusative plural. So it wouldn't be a slave, it would be plural, slaves. Okay. How are you doing so far? Let's continue on. Number five. Let's see. Grab our attention here. Number four. Oh, wonderful. Let's try to avoid that. There we go. Dulos Lambane Dora. Well, the first word is Dulos, which would be a servant or a slave. Um, us would mean a nominative singular, so be a slave or a servant. Lambane. Uh, that would be I take a lambano, I take or I receive. And this O ace A, notice here. Let's see, I lost my cursor. Oh, that cursor's here. My cursor always disappears. Okay, lambane, O-A-S-A, that's a third person singular of lambano. So that would be, he takes. Dora. Dora. Well, that could be a, be remember, doron is the neuter noun, meaning a gift. That ra could be a nominative, or it could be accusative, it could even be evocative. But, because doulos is the nominative, logic tells us that that dora is the accusative plural. So we would say, a servant, he takes gifts. Okay? Number six, Lambanusin Huioi Oikus. Well, let's take a look at this. Lambanusin, here's, oh, look at that typo. Whoops, let's fix that. Here we go. No, that didn't work. Well, let's consider that an upsilon for now. I'm in my Latin keyboard. Oh, messed up on that. Sorry about that. But anyway, oh, you know what we could do? Let's cheat a little bit. Copy. Paste. Ah, I win. Okay, so it's Lamban Usin um, Huioi Oikus. Well, Lamban Usin comes from Lambano. I take or I receive. But that Usin, remember right there? That's a third person plural with a movable new. Notice, there's our movable new. So that's Lambanusi. Well, the Usi is a third person plural. So be they take sons, huioi, 
Oikus houses. But look at this Huioi. That's a nominative plural. And that nominative plural tells us that's the subject of the sentence. <clears throat> There. Remember what Machen had taught us earlier. Word order uh, really is not going to follow the same as what we have in English. In English, we would say, sons take houses. But lambanusin huioi oikus is very acceptable in the Greek. We just have to know our case system. And we know that's the nominative plural case right there. So that's the subject of the sentence. Oikus, look at that. That's the accusative plural from oikos, meaning a house. So it would be sons, they take houses. And that's a very, very uh, acceptable to have that word order. We learn in the Greek that usually a lot of times they'll put the word order to emphasize words. So the emphasis here is the fact that it's the act of taking these houses, which is important to note here. <clears throat> okay. Number seven. Dulus kai oikus lambanusin adolfoi. Uh-oh, look at this. Adolfoi. Well, we automatically notice that. That's the noun of plural. And adolfoi is the subject, which is a brother, but it's plural. Brothers. So we'd have here, brothers is a subject. The main verb, well, dulus kai oikus. A dulus kai oikus is servants and houses. We know that that right there tells us they're accusative plurals. We have two accusatives, is that possible? Sure is. That's why we have a conjunction, kai. So, servants and houses is the, we would consider the accusative or the predicate of the sentence. So, it's say, servants and houses, period. But that doesn't make sense. Look, but we have the lambanusin, and that would be the verb. And that, that is lambano, which is I take, but the usin. Here's the usi, that's a third person plural. They take, or they are taking. So it's would say brothers, they are taking servants and houses. Or if we want to clean up our English a little bit. Brothers are taking servants and houses. How's that? Okay. Number eight. Blapamen hera kai apostolus. Well, first of all, we need to take a look at, um, see if the subject's there. Well, hera, um, that could be a nominative plural. Blapu, blapamen is we see. So that doesn't make sense. Temples we see and apostolus. Apostles. So no, hera is the accusative plural because we have the chi there, okay? And apostolus is the accusative plural as well. So where's the subject? Well, the subject is hidden in the blepomen. We see. So it, it would be we see temples. and houses. Okay. The we, which is the first plur first person plural, number eight. Grab our mouse here. There's the almond right there, okay. Almond blepo is I see. Blepo almond is the first person plural we see. 
greasy temples and houses. Okay. <clears throat> now we have here Dulus Blepete Kai Adolfus. Well, Dulus comes from Dulos, a servant or slave. Us, oh, wow, that's accusative plural. Same as the Adolfus. So we have servants and brothers, Blepete. And that Blepete is a second person plural. That would be ye see. Okay. Once again, the nominative or the subject is embedded in the verb. That's not abnormal. That's not abnormal at all. So we have dulus blepete kai adolfus. Or we could say blepete dulus kai adolfus. Ye see bro servants and brothers. Okay? Okay, number 10. I had a typo once again there. I had to fix it. But it's all fixed up. Let's take a look right here. Number 10. Graface lagan Apostolo. Hmm, interesting. One thing that catches my eye immediately is the Yoda subscript underneath the Omega. To me personally, that shouts, I'm a dative. So that's good to know. Remember the keywords for a dative? Two or four. So, Apostolo is apostle. Two or four, an apostle. Well, let's take a look here. Graface lagan. O -ace -a. So that's a second person singular of grapho. It would be thou art writing. Or how about thou writest. Oh, my spell checker doesn't like King James, I guess. Okay, lagon, a word. Apostolo is a dative. You remember the keywords for a, a dative is a two or four. So, so thou writest the word two or four and apostle. So we could say thou writest the word to an apostle or Thou writest the word for an apostle, that both of them are acceptable. Okay? Number 11. Didaske anthropon. Once again, we have our subject embedded in the verb. Comes from didasko, I teach, but that's always a third person singular. Okay? So he teaches anthropon, a man. Whoops, sorry about that. He teaches a man. Okay. Let's take a look at number 12. Adolfos Lege Lagan Apostolo. Hmm, wow. There's the Yoda subscript that tells me that just shouts dative at the moment. Adolfos is the subject. How do we know that? Well, there's the nominative singular ending. So Adolfos is a brother. Lege. O S A. So it's he says. Lagan. A word. He says a word, um, well, two or four, an apostle. Here's the accusative singular ending. This is log logos. We know it's a masculine 
Therefore, that is an accusative singular ending. Lagan. Okay? Let's take a look at the next one. Adolfos Apostolon Genoske Naman. Well, Adolfos <coughs> is a brother. That's the subject. Apostolon. Ooh, what is that? Apostolon. Own. That's a genitive plural. Okay. So that would be of apostles. So we'd say a brother of apostles. Gnoske, well, O A S A, third person singular of Gnosko. So that would be he knows. Naman. Naman is a law. Okay. Any questions so far? Do you see how we get that? Adolfos, a brother, apostolone. Um, it wouldn't be a singular. That would be apostolu. This is apostolone, so it's a genitive plural. Of apostles. Gnoske. He knows. Naman. A law. Okay. Number 14. Duloi Genoskusi Naman Kai Lambanusi Dora. Well, one step at a time. Duloi, there's a subject. Duloi. Uh, that tells us that that's a nominative plural. Servants. This confirms it's a nominative plural because that's a third person plural of Gnosko. So it would be servants no. Naman. Naman is a law. So it's a servants. No. A law. And there's the word chi, which is our conjunction. And Lambanusi, third person plural. They take where they are taking Dora gifts. And that Dora is they are taking gifts. Um, that is the accusative plural. Okay? Number 15. Genoskusin anthropoi thanaton. Well, off the get-go, we have a nominative plural, anthropoi, so that would be men. Nominative plural. Genoskusin. There is our verb right here and gnoskusin comes with a third person plural and a movable new so be they know final word thanaton comes from thanatos but it's an accusative singular that word would be death. Men know death. Okay. Number 16. Lambanomen. First person plural. So be we take Dora gifts. Is accusative plural and ek amen. That's another first person plural. We have 
Adolfus. Brothers. Brothers. Us is an accusative plural. So once again, the subject's embedded in the verbs. There you go. We take gifts and we have brothers. It would be also very acceptable to say we take gifts and have brothers or we are taking gifts and we are having brothers. All of those are acceptable translations. Okay. Number 17. Apostolois kai doulois. Legomen lagus thanatu. Now there's um, a little bit of a challenge there because our naturally we would like to say apostles and servants, but the problem is that these are dative plurals here. Ois. They're dative plurals. So we would say here two or four apostles and servants. And then we have over here legomen, which is a first person plural, amen, o s a amen et de usi. So it'd be we say words of death, thanatu. There's a genitive singular there. You notice that right there. Genitive singular, keyword for genitive is of. So our sentence structure right here, primary sentence structure is we say words of death. But this apostolois kai doulois, they're dative plurals. So we can say here two or four apostles and servants, we say words of death. I would smooth it out a little bit by saying we say words of death two or four apostles and servants. That's how I do it, is I'd, I'd smooth that out a little bit. The we is the subject, it's embedded in the verb. We say lagamen, words of death, lagus thanatu, two or four apostles and servants. Why? Because these are both dative's, dative plurals, apostles and servants. Okay? Let's try the next one. 18. Adolfoi kai douloi ginoskusin kai blapusin heera kai dora. Okay, well, here's our nominative plurals right there. So the subject is brothers and servants. Primary verb is gnoskusin. And there is a third person plural from gnosko. And that gnosko is I know, or the usi, with the movable new. There's our movable new. So it would be they know. And kai. There's blepusin. Here's another verb. They see. Hiera kai dora. Temples and gifts. Hiran is a uh, neuter, so that is accusative plural. Kai dora, that's doron, which is also a neuter. 
So the alpha is a plural, keys are plural. So it's a they see So Adolfoi Kai Duloi Genoskusin Kai Blapusin Heera Kai Dora Brothers and Servants they know and they see temples and gifts. Okay. Number nineteen. Grafe Apostolos Naman Kai Lage Lagus Huis Dulu. Okay. So Apostolos is the subject. Why do we know that? There's a nominous singular right there. So we'd say an apostle, Grafe, Oase A, he writes a law. The Kai is and Legay. He says Lagus. Okay, so Lagus would be um, words. Now this is what caught my attention. What is that right there? That should be a yeah. See, that should be a final sigma. We'll grab one up here. See, I'm in my Latin keyboard. If I switch over to the Greek keyboard, it's going to have a hairball on me. I know it. So we'll put it right there, okay? Uh, huios dulu. He say words. Well, that huios is a dative, dative plural, of huios, sons, so two or four sons Yep, oh, Dulu, no, no, singular. There we go. So Grafe Apostolos Naman. Here's our exercise there. So an apostle he writes a law and he says words to or for sons of a servant. Okay? Number 20 is the last one. Number 20 is the last one on Roman numeral 1. We have Huioi Apostolone Legusi Lagus Kai Luusi Dulus. Shouldn't be too hard. Let's see. Huioi. That is sons. And those that right there tells us it's an accusative plural. Or a nominative plural. Whoops. Sorry about that. That's a nominative plural of huios. So it would be sons. Apostolone of apostles. Why do I say of apostles? Well, it's a gen genitive plural. Find my mouse again. Here we go. See the omega nu? It tells me it's a genitive plural. So be sons of apostles. Like goosey, there's our primary verb, the usi. Third person plural of lego. So it wouldn't be I say, they say. La goose, that right there is an accusative plural of logos, so words. Kai and luusi, well there is I loose or a third person plural of I loose or they loose. Do loose, that is servants. Okay.
Okay, that wraps things up for Roman numeral one. And even though I hadn't assigned last time uh, Roman numeral two, we're going to go over it anyway. Um, it's not uncommon for college professors to assign Roman numeral two to their students. And it's a good challenge. It's a good exercise. So let's take a look at what we have here. Roman numeral two, English to Greek, number one. A servant is writing a law. Well, a servant would be doulos, and it's a nominative singular. So we put doulos is writing a servant, so he is writing. So doulos, grafe, third person singular, a law. Namas. Well, no, it's not namas. It would be naman. Naman. Okay. Number two, a son sees words. That would be huias. Huias because it's a nominative singular. Blepe, that's he sees. Lagus, well the us is the accusative plural for words. Okay. Number three, brothers are loosing servants. That would be Adolfoy. There's a nominative plural. Brothers. They are loosing. Well, there's lu stems from luo, but it wouldn't be luo. It would be oase um eta usi. Usi. Do you see that? So it's brothers. They are loosing. Do loose servants with the accusative plural ending of doulos. Number four, sons take gifts. Or we could say sons, they take, or they are taking gifts. So be sons, huioi, here's your nominative plural, they are taking, well that would be from Lombano, and this would be Lamban Usi because it's a present active indicative, third person plural, and then the word gifts. That's the accusative and it's accusative plural. That would be Dora. So sons take gifts would be Huioi Lambanusi Dora. Number five. An apostle sees a servant and a gift. That would be apostolos, an apostle. He sees, oas a, there is a right there, so it would be blepe, okay. He, so an apostle, he sees a servant, dulon, and it would be an on because it's accusative singular, kai, doron. An apostle, he sees a servant, and a gift. Now, don't get discouraged. These are not designed to be easy. So let me encourage you, plow right along, and let's follow along and uh, continue on with number six. I know for myself, I messed up more than once um, on some of mine. Um, it's not a normal exercise for people who study Greek to convert from English to Greek. It's not normal, but it is a good exercise to stretch us and to stretch our thinking. So anyway, let's continue on. Number six, servants and sons are saying a word to a brother. Or we could say servants and sons, they are saying a word to a brother. So go right here. Servants and sons, that would be douloi kai huioi. Notice the nominative plural. They are saying, well, that would be oase amaneta usi, and there's our legusi. They are saying a word to a brother. Well, that a word is a singular, and it's accusative. So there's our lagon. And then to a brother, well, the key word there, to, tells us it's going to be a dative. 
and sure enough, Adolfo is the dative of Adolfos, dative singular. How we know it's a dative? Well, it's the omega with the yoda subscript kind of gives it away. Okay? Number seven, we see gifts and servants. Well, we see that is a first person plural of blepo, so be blep amen, and the nominative is embedded in the verb blep amen. We see gifts and servants. Well, that would be dora, accusative plural, kai dulus, accusative plural. Okay, seven would be we see gifts and servants. We translate that up to Blabamen Dora Kai Dulus. Number eight. Number eight. Men see words and gifts of a brother and houses of apostles and sons. Hmm, that's a bit of a challenge, bit of a mouthful. But let's just break it down, okay? Men see words and gifts of a brother and houses of apostles and sons. So we see men see words and gifts and houses so we know that words gifts and houses are all accusative men would be the nominative so we have anthropoi nominative plural they see which would be blepusi from blepo i see but it would be a third person plural Okay, because it's they see, and there's our oes a amen et usi, so it'd be anthropoi blepusi lagus kai dora. So they see words and gifts. Well, gifts of a brother, that's a genitive singular. There it is right there, adolfu. Then we have and houses. Kai oikus, the o Omicron Upsilon Sigma is the accusative plural. So, and houses, apostolone, apostles, and Kai huion. So, be of apostles and of sons. And that's how we translate it. Number nine. Words and laws we write to brethren. A word of death we say to a servant. Now, I had to correct my error on number nine here because words and laws are not the nominative. It's we write words and laws. Well, that would make these words and laws the accusative plural. So it would be la goose kai namus grafamen we write first person plural right there o s a amen so be a first person plural of grafo so be lagus kai namus grafamen okay then we have two brethren well that's a dative plural it would be an adolfos for brother or adolfois now we have a semicolon here. That means we require a semicolon in our translation. And we start afresh. A word of death we say to a servant. That would be a word of death we say. Well, take a look at this. Lagos. No, 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 no. That would be lagan. A word of death we say. Now, it's not a word that's be saying something. It is a word of death we say. So be we say a word of death. Lagan thanatu legamen dulo to a servant. Machen throw these, throws these exercises in here to get us thinking. Um, so we can look at the sentence structure and reshape it. Um, it's not easy, but it's a good stretching exercise for the mind. Number 10. 
A son is seeing temples and houses. Well, a son, which is a nominative singular, huyas, it says, he is seeing, that would be blepe, O-S-A, third person singular, temples and houses. Well, hiera, kai, oikus, both of those are being accusative singular. Okay. Number 11. Oh, a little too far. There we go. Ye know death. Well, the ye nominative is embedded in the verb, so it could be gnosko, but this is ye know, that would be a second person plural. O ace a amen eta usi. So that's a second person plural, gnosketa death, which is the accusative singular. Thanatom. Okay? Number twelve. Thou takest an apostle's gift, or we could say a gift of an apostle. So we would have thou takest, that would be o ace a, so be ace, lamban ace. Thou takest a gift, doron, accusative singular. An apostle's gift shows possession, that's a genitive. Um, or we could say a gift of an apostle, and we would tack on apostolu, genitive singular. Okay? Number 13. Thou art writing a brother's word to a servant. Well, thou art writing, that is a second person singular of grapho, that would be o ace ace, which we would tack on to the graph stem, so we'd have graph ace, thou art writing a brother's word, or a word of a brother, that would be lagan apost, adolfu, lagan adolfu, a word of a brother, or a brother's word, to a servant, well, servant is doulos, the omega with the Yoda subscript tells us it's a dative singular, and that's what we have. Do lo. So the phrase, thou art writing a brother's word to a servant, would be grafes lagan adolfu do lo. Number 14. I loose servants and say words to sons and brothers. Well, I loose servants be lu o do loose. Servants is an accusative plural. Then we have and kai. Oh, let's fix that again here. Here we go. So lu o do loose, kai, and I say words. So be lego, la goose, two sons. Right there is a data plural, two sons, and it would also be two brothers. So we would have huiois kai adolfois. Well, you're probably thinking, oh, I don't see a keyword to there. So would this say words two sons and brothers? Would that not be an accusative plural? No, because the key, the embedded is right there. Literally, it would be. I loose servants and I say words to sons and to brothers. And when we look at it in the English, we can see that that's what's being said. So therefore, the word brothers is a data plural. Okay? We're almost done. Number 15. A son sees death. Well, a son is a nominative singular. Huios. Huyas. He sees, blepe, o ace a, he sees death. And death is the accusative singular, or thanatam. And number 16. They know laws, and they teach servants of an apostle. 
Okay. Well, they know laws. That would be Gnoskusi, Namus. Well, we have Gnosko with the third person plural ending. Oasa, Amanetta, Usi. They know. Namus, laws. Accusative plural. Kai, and teach. That would be they teach. So it would be didaskusi, servants, accusative plural, dulus, of an apostle, apostolu, genitive singular. Okay, well that wraps up Roman numeral two. Uh, if you have any questions, drop me an email. Be glad to answer anything if I can. And we're going to just wrap things up. I hope you did well. Grade your paper, grade your homework, let your proctor or your professor know how well you did. And uh, we will start on the following lesson next time. Thank you for joining us.